Yes, it's snowing again, and I'm not happy about it. Today is not going to be a reviews day, unfortunately, basically because of the weather. So I'm not going to deprive you of a video. We're going to do a little bit of plowing and we've got to fix that one weak headlight that uh, seems to have tipped down on the shop truck. So uh, we're going to get this driveway cleaned up a little bit first and uh, then we'll get to the headlight. shoveled and the plow comes by. At least it's just wet stuff. and I would probably clean these cars off uh, as they sit right now. However, they are calling for some freezing rain. So this snow will help protect the, the vehicles. If it does get freezing rain, you're gonna get that little thin layer of ice. I'd sooner have it on the snow that you can clean off than on the bare metal or the bare paint that you can't. So we're gonna leave those probably till tomorrow and see how we make out. Right now, we'll go fix that headlight. <laughs> As I mentioned before, this headlight here is aimed properly, it's pointing right straight ahead, and this one is tilted down. You can probably see it better this way compared to the other one. So, we got to get in there and get that adjusted up and uh, make sure she's pointing forward. So, it really is an easy adjustment on these headlights. There are two three quarter inch nuts that hold this on, and this pivots, so there's like a little recessed groove in there. You loosen those up, you angle it up. What I found, and the reason why it probably got loose, is because this bolt is actually broken. I had to find another three quarter nut and thread on there. There was just enough threads and I got probably maybe one full turn on it. Don't know how long it's gonna last, but hopefully it will be enough to get us through this season without having to replace one of these because that is the alternative. So. Now they're both pointing in the right direction. And uh, even this one here, I've got it pointed a little bit more to the right, just so that you can kind of light up that ditch. 
at night. And now you can hear that freezing rain hitting the window here. So let's get the shop truck parked back outside. <laughs> So since the last video where we got the heater working in bubbles, you probably see that this car behind me has been in the shop. This is a 2013 Hyundai Elantra Coupe. This is a loaded up model. So it's got the leather, the sunroof, the GPS, all that good stuff. But it had a small crack in the bumper. Let me show you. So right here, it looks like either somebody backed into this car or this car bumped somebody else. And part of that damage was the lower grill, and it's all cracked here as well as up in here. So we've got some uh, bumper bondo on there, as well as a brand new lower bumper piece. So anytime that you go to buy yourself a used car and they always say, you know, show me the Carfax. Well, we offer the Carfax here available as well. And it, any time that there's a Carfax for, you know, two, probably $2,500 or less, they could be small things like a windshield or a broken window that happened on an insurance claim. They also could be fender benders. So small fender benders such as this one here where it just put a small crack in the bumper, we are able to repair that bumper very, very inexpensive. They have products out there that work like adhesive and they're a compound for these plastic bumpers these days. So we are able to take the bumper off, get in there in front and back, reinforce it, and then we can sand it out and repaint it. Even though the uh, grill is going to be replaced as well on this one, that grill cost us probably somewhere around 150 bucks. And we probably will have maybe a couple of hours altogether tied up into the bumper repair. If this had been an insurance claim, I guarantee you the insurance would not fix the bumper, they would replace it. So you're looking at a replacement cost of somewhere in the vicinity of probably seven to $900 just for the bumper. And then the cost of materials to get it painted and then the insurance company has to pay for that new part of the broken grill. So an insurance price on that would probably be at least twice the price of what I paid for it. So a $150 grill turns into 300. You've probably got, oh, you know, replacing it and painting the whole bumper and putting all the new pieces in and out. You're probably gonna have five, seven hours tied up into that at insurance rates for the body shop. So. This whole repair probably would have been an insurance claim of somewhere around 2,500 bucks, my best guess. We're gonna be able to fix this thing probably for less than you know, 300 bucks altogether, and it will look just like new. Guys, I know this wasn't a very long video and there was just a lot of music and uh, time-lapse video, but sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches when the weather affects some of your plans for putting a video together. But we got a little bit accomplished. We did get the driveway plowed. We got that headlight adjusted. And uh, I gave you a little bit of an explanation on the 2013 Elantra that was sitting there. But before we go, I do want to let you guys know about somebody who I've been following a little bit on YouTube. His name is Kip and his YouTube channel is called America Bumper to Bumper. And I'll put his information right here so that you can take a look at that. And what Kip does is he takes a lot of video of car shows. So if you're into classic cars and sometimes new cars, um, he's got a pretty good channel there and he often has a live feed that he does on Friday nights. So guys, I'll leave his link in the description box below so you guys can go check him out and uh, please show him some love by subscribing to his channel as well. Contest is still on. 1,000 subscribers by January 31st. If we can do it, I'm gonna give away a thousand bucks. Easy as that. 
Old Car Auto Guy merchandise. I'm wearing mine. You should get yours. Again, I'll leave that link in the description box below. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies. Multiple sizes, multiple colors. Prices are really, really good. And if you, if you hurry up and order now, you should be able to get that before Christmas. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless, and we'll see you in the next upload. Thank you.